Welcome to the part 3. This is the final chapter, the gesture that completes your iPhone mastery. Photos app. In photos app, if you want to select a photo, you start by pressing the select button and then tapping the photos that you want to select. But if you want to select a large group of photos, instead of tapping each one individually or dragging from left to right, you can just drag from top left to bottom right of the group. And if there are a couple of photos you don't want, you can just tap these individual ones to deselect them. If you have got a photo that you want to add to an email, just open the photo app, long press the photo that you want and while you are still holding that photo, swipe up and bring the app switcher, tab mail to open the email and then just drop the photo straight into the message. If you have got a big library of photos and videos, you can just tap the time on the top left of your iPhone home screen. It will take you to the very first photograph of your collection. And if you want to get back to the default view, just tap library in the bottom left and you will jump straight back. In Photos app, if you swipe up on a photo, you will see all the information about it, including when and where it was taken. If you swipe down on the photo, you will go straight back to your photo library. Text Edit If you have got a bulleted list of text, whether that's a notes or mail, you can use your finger to swipe left or right on the individual bullet to change the indentation. Swipe to the right to increase indent, swipe to the left to decrease it. There is a way to copy and paste text on your iPhone that you might not know about. If you have your text selected, then use your thumb and two fingers and pinch in on the screen. You will see a little copy animation appear on the top. Then go down and place your cursor and swipe out all three fingers and it will paste that copied text here. It's very difficult but it is there. Whenever you are typing and you want to select a text, this quick tip is worth remembering. If you double tap a word, your iPhone will select just that word. And if you triple tap a word, your iPhone will select the entire paragraph and then you will get that option of cut, copy and paste. I'm sure you already know that when you are typing on your iPhone, if you want to move your cursor around with accuracy, you can long press on the space bar on your keyboard and then move your finger around the keyboard. It basically turns the bottom half of your iPhone into a little trackpad. Did you know that you can use this exact same method to select text as well? Just long press the space bar, move the cursor to the start of the text that you want to select and then double tap anywhere on the screen with another finger. Move your original finger and you see the text selection bar appears which let you select exactly the bit of text you want to select. And that's the end of part three, the full gesture series. If this helped, hit like, save it, and share it with someone who uses an iPhone every day. See you in the next one. Peace. Project.